years ago, right before Deng Xiaoping ordered the clearing of the Tiananmen Square, President H.W. Bush made a statement that the U.S. would not interfere with China's internal affairs. And then Deng Xiaoping ordered the, the tanks to the Tiananmen Square. Do you think the U.S. will allow history to repeat itself? Well, I, we, I, what we did today has nothing to do with the internal affairs of China. It has to do with U.S. policy towards China as it relates to Hong Kong. Right now, commerce from Hong Kong and trade with Hong Kong uh, that China conducts is treated as different from what's happening with the mainland. And that's entirely justified and built on the idea that Hong Kong retains a high degree of autonomy and political freedoms. If that's no longer the case, then there's no longer justification for that law. So this bill isn't an in interference, it's, it's our policy. That said, it's important that the world know clearly, number one, the nature of the Chinese Communist Party and, and who they are at a time when they're trying to go around the world portraying themselves as a benevolent uh, power. And the other is that the people who are out there fighting for democracy, not just in Hong Kong, but around the world, know that the American people will continue to raise the, our voices on their behalf. There are still many people trapped at the um, Polytechnic University. Do you want to say something to them? I know that they're in a difficult situation. I can't imagine facing what they are. These are young, very young people, students for the most part. Well, very young people that have really put a lot on the line and risked a tremendous amount. Their, their cause is a noble and worthy one. Uh, we don't want to see anybody be harmed, obviously. And, um, but again, I, I would ask them to, uh, to, to not give up the fight that they've taken on in terms of raising their voices on behalf of freedom and democracy. History will judge them kindly, and we hope that their efforts in the short term will, will influence the kind of Hong Kong that they're going to live in and that they're going to grow up in in case of the middle school students and, and, and the kind of life they're going to have in the years to come.